Hello and welcome back to another set of readings of Lotus Love Tarot 555. Okay, you guys, I am here and I'm going to do a collective timeless reading. So if you're watching this, Spirit has guided you here to watch this message today. Okay, so keep in mind there's no time limit to this. Okay, there's no time limit. This could happen today, could have happened in the past, could be happening in the near future. But if you've been guided here, that means this is an energy that is... Uh, that you are in right now, or there could be someone that's surrounding you that has experienced this, okay? So this is for the collective. It's not for a sun, moon, rising, or Venus sign. It's for whoever is watching it and whoever has been led here to watch it for this time. And if it's, this is you, please go ahead and put in the comments down there so that I know that this is pertaining to you. Okay, um, uh, it always helps me because it helps me understand what the Spirit is telling me to do a reading that I am on point with what is uh, going on. Okay, all right, so we're going to go ahead and get into it. Um, if you want to do an extended, we may be doing an extended on this, so information pertaining to the extended can be found below. All right, now on to your reading. All right, we are here to do the collective reading. This is for no specific sign, no specific time, okay? This is a timeless reading. If Spirit has let you here to watch this reading, then this reading pertains to you, okay? Holy Spirit, Divine Creator, Universal messages need to go forth. For this reading, what messages need to go forth? What messages need to go forth? Divine prayer, the universe, what messages need to go for? What messages need to go for? What messages need to go for? Okay. So the two cards that came out was you and your loved ones are safe. So there is a situation right now where you don't feel safe. Could be dealing with a relationship. Um, where you don't feel safe, which is what mean, which is meaning that um, somebody could be moving out. Somebody may have decided that they need to leave, and so the security is kind of shaking right now. This could be a reference to your finances that um, you know you're not able to pay your bills right now. You're not simply being you know feeling safe. Um, you could be have a lack of money to get food. Whatever your situation is, um, could be going through a breakup right now where you just simply just don't know what to do. Spirit is reminding you that you and your loved ones are safe, okay? Something's going to be happening within the next few weeks. So something is going to be happening with this situation uh, with the next, in the next few weeks. Oh, no, no. In the next few months. Let me go back again. Something's going to be happening with this situation within the next few months. So, you may be in a, an uncomfortable space right now, in a very uncomfortable space, and uh, trying to see your way out, uh, but within the next couple of months, I'm, I'm feeling as though this is going to be worked out, but I, I understand that it doesn't matter where you are right now, what you're having to experience right now, okay? So, let's just get further clarification on what's going on with this situation for the collective. Okay, Holy Spirit, the God, the universal messages need to go forth. For this reading, what messages need to go forth? What messages need to go forth? Okay. Oh, oh Lord. Okay. So that's why Spirit was on me to do this reading because somebody is really going through right now. Okay, somebody's really going through right now. Okay. You have the King of Pentacles in reverse. The Devil. The Five of Swords. The Eight of Pentacles. And your overarching energy is the Death card. Wow. Okay, you do have an angel number coming through, so I want you to make sure you look up that angel number, which is 5555. You have four fives that's coming through. So make sure you look up that angel number 
You could be, or they could have something to do with this. This energy could be around you. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Here's a Capricorn here again. Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn again. Or it could be a Scorpio. Um, but keep in mind, this could be they could be any sign. They're just taking on the energy of what we're seeing right now. But definitely a Capricorn and a Scorpio is coming through here. Um, with the King of Pentacles in reverse. So this is an energy that... Um, is not pleasant okay um this is someone who works out of a space of greed uh, all about them what they want you know trying to get as much as they can get um this could represent material loss as well so you could have lost something material wise um this could represent indulgence so just you know um indulging in in too much um, indulging in a situation with someone, I mean, you know, coming forth, uh, when you're indulging too much, that means that you are, you know, kind of stepping in a situation that really does not um, have anything to do with you and should not have anything to do with you, okay? Um, the King of Pentacles is, a, is an energy that um, is, you know, it, by being a king already, we're showing that uh, it, it, it can get the attention of others because simply because of its king status, okay? And keep in mind, this is not gender specific, specific either. Uh, so this could be a male or a female. Um, the king of pentacles could be a, somebody who's dishonest um, or corrupt, a corrupt individual. Um, like I said before, very, very greedy, um, obsessed with mere material things. Um, don't even worry about the person, but just obsessed with material items. Um, it could be feelings of shame, okay? You could be worried about something. Um, you could be worried about not making enough money in something, um, not being successful in something. Um, this could be failure in something regarding maybe business. Um, this, uh, I said dishonesty already because dishonesty is really coming through here. Um, this could mean that you just need to, you know, take time to be more responsible and taking care of your home, taking care of your family. Um, that that could be what's coming through, or, some, or somebody may not be taking care of home, or may not be taking care of family, and somebody may be in need of help right now, and somebody may be refusing to, you know, bring forth that that aid or that help that is that is happening. And once again, just could be um, your your finances just really uncertain about what, what's going on with your finances, and then that being coupled with the devil here, this is just straight toxic. Okay, the, the, the devil represents anything that does not serve your highest good. I don't care what it is. So with this king of pentacles being in reverse and that being coupled with the devil, this situation right here is just unbearable. It is unbearable. The person is unbearable. That's why somebody was needing a reminder that you and your loved ones are safe. And I know it seems hard right now. I know it seems as though you may not be able to make it, but you are going to make it. You and your loved ones are safe. You are going to have to work through this situation because it's not going to, it's not going to, the cycle is not going to be completed until the next couple of months. Okay. Because you are having, you're in a preparation stage now of trying to come out of this space. I mean, this is really a um, very toxic, okay, um, space that you're in. Then the devil being coupled with the five of swords. I mean, with the five of swords, this represents betrayal. Um, this represents loss. Um, this represents, with the five of swords, this represents um, trying to win at all costs. This represents somebody being sneaky, you know, not really worrying about you know, what the other person is feeling. This is somebody who wants to get get whatever they want to get at whatever cost they're going to get it. They don't care. That's why you got this King of Pentacles here because that's the kind of energy that's coming off. Look at this face. I'm going to get what I want no matter who I have to hurt. That's the energy that the devil's bringing. No matter who I, this is what I want. I'm greedy. I'm manipulative, Okay. Uh, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm getting somebody's finances. I'm not going to assist you. I'm not going to help you, okay? And I'm going to do this from a devilish standpoint, you know, from a very mean, corrupt standpoint. And I don't care who I have to hurt to do it. I'm going to get what I want. Oh, my God. <sighs> and so I want you to see this. So you got all of this energy here. This back is turned 
to this person, this one little person right here who says, you know what? All of this stuff has happened in my past. You see their backs are to one another. All of this has happened in my past, but I'm going to continue to look forward. I'm going to continue to work on my skill. Yes, it may take me a long time to do it because I have to concentrate on one thing at a time. See that? I got to concentrate on one thing at a time, but I'm going to make it. I'm going to make it because if I'm diligent, those look, those one skills, okay, these one areas that I'm getting in control, eventually it's going to mount up, okay? And it's going to be what I need within the next few months to guarantee that me and my family are safe because I'm not going to have to experience this change anymore, this major change that's happening in my life. I'm not going to have to experience that anymore. I'm not going to have to go through that anymore. I'm not going to have to go through these big changes. I'm not going to have to go through these endings. It's time to move on. It's time for a rebirth. It's time for a transformation in my life. That's what the Scorpio represents. This is what the, that's what the, the sign Scorpio represents. It represents transformation. This is the Scorpion card. Something needs to die. Let me be very clear to you. There are some definite changes that need to take place here. Something needs to die. Something needs to end. Somebody needs to move on from this and allow it to happen. So by this death card not being in reverse, this is a want to change. You know it's going to change. The ending is okay. I feel like you're just in the, in the space of trying to figure out how it's going to change and what you need to do to make it change, okay? But clearly, this is something that has to happen. It must happen. So I am going to do an extended on this, and we're going to clarify this knight of king, excuse me, this king of pentacles, this devil. I, I mean, I'm going to clarify all three of these and this death card. See what's going to be happening within the next few months um, that's coming forth for you. Um, but we definitely want to get more clarification. So if you want to do this extended, um, information pertaining to the extended um, can be found below. But look at there. I picked up the deck, gossiping, spying. Oh my goodness. Okay, information pertaining to the extended can be found below. And the uh, playlist for this is going to be under the collective readings. All right, until next time, my loves. Bye-bye.